Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Clean with Barbie. After the shorts and the pictures what I shared with you, you all was so excited about this cleaning. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what is the story behind the mess. The point is the owner is really sick right now. I asked her to write a story and send me but she wasn't feeling good so it didn't happen but hopefully in the next part when I'm gonna clean more room I can tell you what really happened and what is the story behind the mess. This apartment is very very old and I have no idea when was the last renovation. Everything was super greasy and dirty. They had a lot of cockroaches all over. And if it's not enough, they had mice. A lot of, lot of mice. So the first step, just like usual, I started to clean up all the mess all around. Before I clean up, I have to clean up. I already have experience with the house where also have a mice. When I pulled out the washing machine and I saw everything is so wet under the washing machine, I knew it. I will find dead rotten mouse. I was right. After this, I know some of you will say I could never ever clean this apartment, but I'm ready for it. You can see the mice destroyed everything. This sink was really amazing. I just saw a mouse. They totally destroyed the egg box. Ooh, look at this. Someone just came to check me. Oh, another one. They all trying to escape.
Someone asked me in comment if I wash all the dishes and my answer is no. Sometimes it's totally destroyed and I just have to throw away. Sometimes even if a pants or a plate is good, the owner just asks me to throw away. Sometimes they just want to start over and they don't want to remind what was the conditions before. So they're ready to buy new stuff in the clean home. So if I see something like this, or this, it's just garbage. I also clean all the cabinets inside and outside. It's no chance to keep anything from these cabinets. Okay, so the kitchen is a little bit emptier, so now I can focus on cleaning. Okay, so in my last video, I told you we had a lot of break and sickness. We had the winter break and spring break and break for a break and blah blah blah. So I couldn't visit them for three weeks. So this is the reason why this sink is full again. You used to say that I don't use enough water while I'm cleaning, so now I hope you all satisfied that because I used a lot of lot of water.
I hate that when my gloves are dirty, so I have to wash them so often. For the sink, I use Zap Oven Cleaner and a metal sponge. Let's talk about stoves. Stove can be greasy or what you see here is a burnet stove. If we work with the greasy stove, it's so easy to clean because you're just using an oven cleaner or a degreaser. But if you see a burnet stove where it's never been cleaned and it's just the food just burned over and over again, that's so hard to clean. In that case, it's going to be a lot of time, you have to use a scraper, you have to use a metal sponge and a lot of degreaser, oven cleaner, grill cleaner. But don't give up, just keep doing and the result is going to be amazing. The reason why I told you all these things about the stoves, you keep asking why I don't make my job easier and why I don't use a plastic wrap. Because I tried. I sprayed with oven cleaner and after I covered it with a plastic wrap and I left for hours. But imagine what happened. I still had to use a scraper, a metal sponge and more degreaser. 
So this is why I told you before, greasy stove and burner stove, it's two different things. Oh guys, this is my favorite part. Look at this! After the hard work, scraping and scrubbing, I just realized this stove is garbage. So unfortunately that happened because they have a lot of mice. The mice moved into the stove and they made a house from themselves. So they bought all the trash in the stove. So unfortunately this is a fire hazard. And I told to them, tell to the management they need to change this stove. I don't feel bad at all about I wasted my time and I just cleaned it so hard the stove and after it just goes to the garbage because in my mind what I think when someone comes to pick up this stove and changing for another one they're not gonna see the condition how it would look like before. The owner don't have to feel any shame because this stove is gonna be clean and nobody's gonna judge her.
For the microwave, I used oven cleaner. I also cleaned all the cabinets. Everything was super greasy. Most of you missed a good window cleaning, so here we are! I prefer to clean the floor this way. I like to surprise the owners with new stuff. And now it's time to see the before and after.
that's a glue. But stay with me because we are not ready yet. It's time to clean the fridge and this little hallway. They had a lot of stuff all over, rotten food, mice poop, garbage and usable stuff. So everything together. This fridge was really amazing and it looks a little scary, but I promise you guys, on the end it's gonna be amazing, white and shiny. Alright guys, so I'm gonna explain something again, just like when we talk about the stove. In those fridge what nobody cleaned for a long long time, always have a sticky stuff. I don't have idea what is that, it's a rotten fruit, a rotten meat, all the food together for a long long time. So it gets sticky and when you spray with the oven cleaner or degreaser or something, it's gonna melt up a little bit but it's gonna be disgusting and it's gonna be so freaking sticky. Now I'm talking about myself, for me it's so much easier to clean with the scraper before I use any cleaning products. If I would use a sponge and a cleaning products, the sponge is will just be stick in this dirt. So for me, this is the easiest way to clean a fridge. And now it's time to use a degreaser.
so I was just doing my job when the supervisor arrived. I hope I'm not gonna be fired. And now it's time to see the fridge. And it's time to clean up the rest. We almost finished when something happened. And now it's time to show you the resort.
If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next week. Bye!